Hello guys and dolls and welcome back. It's me Cora. If you're new to my channel, something you might not know about me is I'm kind of obsessed with pinup style. I don't wear like pencil skirts and you know vintage style stuff every single day because I also love modern style as well, but it's definitely been a hobby of mine for years. Actually my um, reception dress at my wedding was a polka dot swing halter dress. It's just kind of my style. It's kind of surprising that I had not heard of pinup girl clothing or really been super aware of them until about a year ago. Hi! You want to be in the video too? He likes pinup girl clothing also. I have quite a few pieces that I think are really key pieces from the line, which I would like to review for you guys and just kind of generally talk to you guys about the brand and introduce them to you if you've not heard of them before. Um, but some of the things I love about the brand, um, I, of course I love the style, so that's kind of a given. Vintage inspired, re, you know, vintage reproduction stuff. Um, it was started by a woman named Laura Burns and there are several lines within the company. So there's pinup couture, there's the Laura Burns line, which in my opinion, and from my understanding is a little bit more of like the elevated, uh, like like the higher end stuff or things that are a little more tailored and things of that nature. One of the things I love most about Pinup Girl clothing is that they sell size extra small through 4X. This is a huge size range and I really wish more and more companies would follow suit because I think that fashion needs to be inclusive. I love that I can shop there with my skinny friends, I can shop there with my big friends, I can shop there with my in-betweener friends, everyone is included in this line. One thing to keep in mind, these the clothing is very tailored in fit. So you might wear a smaller size or a different size than what you normally wear. I personally tend to wear like a size 22, a size 2X, sometimes 3X. Uh, and from pinup girl clothing across the board, usually 4X works for me, and except for in certain things, I need to do 3X, it's a whole thing. Um, and we will be talking about the sizes that I have everything in. Clothing is made in the US, which is something that's highly important to me. And the quality is insane. I mean, the fabric alone is just, sumptuous. That's the best way I could describe it. Uh, the Jenny skirts are made out of a sateen cotton, which is just yummy, yummy, yummy. Um, and one thing I also like about this company is that they come out with different prints of existing silhouettes. So if you find something that works for you, you'll be able to repurchase things that are, you know, in the same cut, but in different colorways. And that's something that's really important to me because once I find something that works for me, I almost want to make a wardrobe out of it. I want to have like a million of them. In fact, I've bought more of this shirt. This is also from Pinup Girl Clothing. I it tucked into my high-waisted pencil skirt today. Because this one fits me so good, I actually just went and ordered a couple of more. So the first thing that I'm gonna be sharing with you is this outfit. And I wanna talk first about the Jenny skirt. Jenny is the style of skirt, and the print on this is called the Mary Blair Commuter Print. Now this print isn't being sold right now, but they are still selling Jenny skirts in a million different colorways. Um, so this is a 1950s style gathered circle skirt. Um, it has a cotton sateen fabric. I'll show you guys up close what this fabric looks like. I mean. Oh, no, of course my skirt needs to be ironed very, very badly, but I, I didn't do that. This type of skirt looks really great whether you have it with a petticoat under it, which will fluff it up a bit more, which is great if you have narrow hips, but also this looks great without one as well. You can totally wear it as a little more casual of a skirt without a petticoat, which is how I'm wearing it here without the petticoat. Another thing about this skirt is that it has pockets. I know, I know, I'm excited too. <laughs> I, anytime I find something with pockets, I just get insanely, insanely excited. And they're deep too. They'll fit like your phone, your lipstick, pack of tissues, like your boyfriend. The Jenny skirt is like literally flattering on everyone. Like, oh, you have an hourglass figure? Oh, it's flattering. You have a pear shaped figure? It'll hide your hips. You have slim hips? It'll give you curves. You have an apple shaped body type? Um, this will give you a waistline. Like it's, it's so good. It's so good. I, I seriously, that, I, I is also available like in a kid's version in certain prints and in maternity which is insane it is so rare to find things like this available in a maternity and of course not every print is available as a maternity skirt i think it's so cool they offer them in general um the top that i'm wearing that with is called the peasant top and this retails for 68 dollars it's a 1950s style gathered peasant top it has a very tailored waist and i like that because i like being able to show off my waist in so many things that i have you know, if they fit me in the boobs, they don't fit me in the stomach, and if they fit me in the stomach, I can't button them up. This is a 3X. I didn't know what my size would be from them at that time, and I believe this is too small. My boobs really don't fit in it. If I had like an ultra, ultra, ultra mega push-up bra and was like thrusting them up to my neck, it might work. Um, <laughs> but I wasn't wearing that. It's something that I think would be really versatile for a lot of different pinup styles. You can wear it with pants, you can wear it with skirts, you can wear it with shorts, you can wear it with, you know, pencil skirts or with circle skirts or with whatever. And so I think I think it's gonna be really versatile once I get one that's actually 
the proper size for me. Um, this is from the Pin Up Couture line. Uh, the, the Jenny skirt was also from the Pin Up Couture line. And the shade that I have this in is called Baton Rouge. The next piece that I want to share with you is something very, very, very special. This is the Monica. This dress is so beautiful. This is from the Laura Burns collection. This dress retails for $144. I have this in a size 4X, but I actually think that I could go down a size in this because this dress has a built-in shapewear. It has this, I think it's Bengalin. That's how you say it. It has this fabric in it that just like sucks you in. So I think that I could go down to the size 3X. It really, you know, it was snug, but it wasn't like tight like it's supposed to be. This is a gathered wiggle dress. This dress is phenomenal. This dress is beautiful. I felt like a goddess. Just felt absolutely amazing. The, the hat that I'm wearing, by the way, was borrowed from my mother-in-law. She was so sweet. I filmed this in her backyard and she was like, oh my God, I have the perfect, I have the perfect hat for that dress. So um, they also make this in a maternity version, which is fantastic. You can still feel sexy when you're super prego. And you can also get this in a mermaid version where it has a tool bottom, which just does things to me. It's like sex on a stick. It's the sexiest dress I think I've ever put on. And another thing too is that the fabric that this is made out of will resist pilling. It doesn't wrinkle so it's really great for taking on a trip. You can throw it in a bag and it won't get all funky. This next outfit is super duper special and I'm going to start out talking about the pants. I lusted after these pants for quite some time. I would you know google Doris pants pinup girl clothing and just see the ways that people wore them and I realized how incredibly versatile they were going to be. They were going to be a pant that I could wear casually. There would be a pant that I could wear you know dressed up. So this this is the Doris pant. It's from the Laura Burns collection. So again, it's from that more elevated collection. These retail for $128 and worth every penny. These are a 1940s high-waisted wide-legged pant. They are fully lined. Outside fabric is a pebbled crepe and I want to give you guys a little shot of what that looks like up close if my camera would focus. Focus! So that's what pebbled crepe looks like. It look, has a nice texture to it. See, the inside of the pant is lined, so it has a nice smooth feel on it. It just flows and feels so swishy and, and, and just lovely. The pant has been fantastic in the cooler weather. I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about it in like August. Um, so this might be one that I put away for the summertime. This style of pant is something I've been lusting after for years and thought it would never happen in a million years unless I made it myself and I don't know how to sew. So, so, so. I've always wanted a pair of wide leg pants, but because I am wider in the bottom half of my body, I need something that balances me on top. So by having that really high waist, it makes it so it doesn't cut me off and just make my the bottom half of my body just like huge. Because these have this really high waist and this elasticized back, so it gives you that perfect fit, it does wonders for your waist and your butt. I am telling you. These pants are kind of long. Uh, they're extremely long. They're meant to be worn with heels or something like that. I'm wearing them with a short heel uh, for this today, but I would recommend in the future getting something, um, maybe getting them tailored or something. The top that I'm wearing with is called the Ridley Top. This was $64 and this is also from the Laura Burns collection. This is a fitted button up with no gaps in the bust. Hallelujah. This is a unicorn for me. No, like nothing ever fits me because my bust is so much bigger than my waist. Just nothing ever fits and this fits perfectly. Um, this is a staple piece that I think is just going to be instrumental in my wardrobe. I, I've only had it now for about a month um, and this is only like the second or third time I've worn it. You can wear it with pants. You can wear it with skirts. You can wear it with jeans. You can wear it with shorts. You can wear it with anything. It's so incredibly versatile. You can wear it untucked. You can wear it tied up and you can wear it tucked in. You can wear it any which way. It's kind of amazing. So here's the shirt. I just want to show you guys. It has a seam that comes across this way, one that comes down and it has some gathering here at the bust as well which gives you room for the boobs to be this is why it doesn't gap at the breasts companies that make button-up shirts please take notes take notes we need the darts the darts are important for people with boobs the last piece i'm going to share with you guys today is the erin wiggle dress and this retails for 98 but i actually got mine for 60 because i got it at the pinup girl clothing yard sale a couple of times a year they do these yard sales where it's basically like a in in-person warehouse sale and they travel around do them in different locations they recently did one in san francisco so i was like ah! and i had to go i got this gorgeous dress beautiful color of green i don't know the the name of the color it's a 1950s style wiggle dress it's incredibly sexy i mean i just felt like sex on a stick wearing this this style of dress is a really great way to kind of dip your toe into the vintage style along with the monica dress as well they're both bodycon dresses if, if we want to use like some modern terms and so it's kind of an easy way to like dip your 
toe in if you're into like club wear and things like that you can easily you know absorb one of these into your wardrobe and it's not going to look totally out of place uh, so that is pretty much all that I've got for you guys today in terms of a review of Pinup Girl clothing. If there are any additional questions that I didn't mention in this video, please leave them for me in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to answer them for you. And never never feel like you guys can't answer each other back. I love it when there's discussion in the in the comments. A lot of people are like, well, I'm not Cora, so I don't know if I should say. No, dude, totally jump in there. I also want to just quickly mention here at the end of the video, um, if you ever are able to make it to the Burbank location, it's so, so darling. It's so cute in there. I just die from the vintageness and then right around the corner there's this great bakery called Porto's <sighs> yum amazing the line is insane it's totally worth it and it's not too far away from where they have Bessemi and also unique vintages in that area I mean it's just like makeup and baked goods and pastries and pinup clothing and like oh my god um, so that's it thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you in my next video remember to vintage or tacky just be your own kind of beautiful I'll see you later bye